Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 21 video. In today's episode, we're going to be speed rebuilding the Houston Texans. And obviously, this is going to be a pretty hard speed rebuild because honestly, their team is kind of trash even after free agency. I mean, the secondary isn't that bad with Justin Reed, Bradley Roby, Desmond King. But overall, I think it's going to be a pretty hard rebuild. Again, as I said, speed rebuild if that's what you want to say and i am going to be keeping deshaun watson even though it seems kind of seems kind of unrealistic but he's like kind of the only good piece on this team so let's just move into it so this is the overlook of the team uh not very good a lot of bronze players i don't know if i seem to improve the tight end position i do want to get one more receiver having three receivers doesn't seem to do too much so deshaun watson i am going to keep him i'm definitely replacing philip Lindsay immediately defensively we suck but again the secondary is kind of the only good part maybe i'll get like an old strong safety to replace the other one so let's just move into the trades so for our first trade we're trading away philip Lindsay in a six round pick for dj moore he's an absolute simulation god i'm immediately starting him he is so so good in simulation now we are trading away Zach Cunningham and a first round pick for Brian Burns, Taylor Moan, and AJ Boye. I can move around the offensive lineman however I want. I think I'm going to make Taylor Moan a guard. Now we are trading away a second, a fourth, and a sixth for David Montgomery. I think I spent a little bit too much on this, but I still needed a halfback in general. Now I'm trading away Shaq Lawson at third and another third for the middle linebacker, Miles Jack. That was kind of unbelievably easy to get. Now we're trading away Randall Cobb, David Johnson, a fourth round pick for Derek Nadi from the Kansas City Chiefs. Now we're trading away two very underperforming wide receivers for JPP off the edge. I'm going to move them down to defensive end. And now I'm trading away a fourth, a fifth, and a fourth for Leighton Van Der Ash. And I plan to do something else with this pick as well, probably an offensive lineman pick. Now I'm trading away Leighton Van Der Ash and a fifth round pick for Braden Smith and Bobby Okariki. So I basically traded away uh, two fourth round picks and two fifth round picks for this. Now I'm trading away a defensive tackle, a six round pick, and a old defensive back for Kareem Jackson on strong safety. So this is what the overlook of the team looks like after the trades. I didn't bother to get a tight end. I didn't think it was that important. So definitely going to start uh, DJ Moore. David Montgomery is solid. He's better than Philip Lindsay, even though he's one overall lower. Offensive line is actually pretty good. Defensively, yikes. Brian Burns usually does pretty good in simulation. That's why I was willing to spend my first round pick on him. Also, keep in mind, I only got one first round pick because the Texans gave up their first round pick. So it's time to move into the midseason. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a bye week as we are 5-2 and two actually. That's actually really, really good. So top the division above the Tennessee Titans. That is cool to see. Statistically, Deshaun Watson is doing pretty good so far. 12th best offense in the league. 6th best defense. Wow, yeah, we are actually doing pretty good as we are here to face the Jaguars in week 9. And obviously, we don't have players to resign just because, you know, it's a speed rebuild. We only do it for one year if you guys don't already know. And we can't use free agents. I forgot to mention that. Let's move to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a loss to the titans as we are 10 and 6 second in the division behind the 11 and 5 colts as we kind of fell off and deshaun watson actually had a pretty good season sixth best offense in the nfl and 14th best defense looking into it 4200 yards 34 tds 11 interceptions dave montgomery eight tds almost 800 yards mark ingram with 10 tds receiving wise dj Moore 1300 yards 15 tds that's exactly why i picked him up and defensively, Desmond King, 96 tackles. Okay, uh, tackles for a loss is going to be 11 for Brian Burns. Sacks on the team is going to be 11 for Brian Burns as well. That's actually a pretty good ratio overall. Five interceptions for Justin Reed. That's awesome to see. Safeties on the team is zero, and defensive touchdowns on the team is a one for someone I don't, I've never heard of. <laughs> so let's go and see if we can beat the Bills in the wild card round. I'm going to hop into every game just because it's only one season. So let's see if we can beat the Bills. So here we are against the Bills as it is 13 to 7 in the third quarter. Now 14 to 13 in simulation. Three minutes left, two minutes left. Time winding down. 17 to 13 is you're gonna is gonna be your final score against the Bills. So now here we are in the divisional round here to face the 13 and 3 simulation gods, the Cleveland Browns. So let's see if we can beat them. This one's gonna be pretty hard as well. 
So here we are in the game as it is already 10 to nothing. And I want to simulate to the end of the game instead of play the moment. So that way we don't get those pauses. 17 to nothing, 17 to 7 in the second quarter. And into the second half, still 17 to 7. And it's kind of like a back and forth game, 14 to 17. I'm glad we're making a comeback. Four minutes left in the game. Can we take the lead? We take the lead for the first time. 21 to 17, 24 to 21. Late game shootout. And we cannot complete the final drive as we're going to lose in the divisional round. So guys, this was an unsuccessful speed rebuild. The objective is to at least make it to the Super Bowl. You don't have to win it just to make it to the Super Bowl is probably the objective. But uh, yeah, I think we built a pretty solid team for what we had. Keep in mind, I didn't have, uh, I only had one and one first round pick and one second round pick. I, and it was from next year's because the Texans gave up their first round pick. So it was a really hard rebuild overall, I think. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoy, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.